Like I always said, God made every person different. He just got tired by the time he got to China. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Dear, no one knows what you are saying. <laughs> Welcome to the Last Day's News Channel. Today we are going to keep it light. We are going to talk about hell and its location. Various theories on hell's location have been put forward. A traditional view is that hell is in the center of the earth. The idea that hell is below us perhaps in the center of the earth comes from Luke chapter 10, when Jesus talks about being thrusted down to hell. In the 26th chapter of Ezekiel, the Lord speaks of those who go down to the pit, and making them dwell in the earth below. Psalm 63 states that those people that want to destroy my life, will go into the lower parts of the earth. This is the first time that scientists have conclusive chemical evidence of brimstone in the Earth's core. By using the state-of-the-art mass spectroscope, at Washington University, lead researcher, Dr. Paul Savage, stated, We can say, that we have life imitating art. Tales have been told of the underworld being awash with fire and brimstone. Now at least we can be sure of the brimstone. The mass spectroscope sends seismic sound waves to the Earth's mantle and that a large amount of sulfur was removed from the mantle and most likely sunk into the Earth's outer core. Truth be told, the location of hell is not important. The fact that it exists in the first place is important. Jesus Christ is the greatest hellfire preacher. He spoke of hell more than any other topic other than salvation. We would all be wise to listen. Salvation is for all the people. No one's sin is greater than God's grace. The desire of Jesus is for everyone to be saved. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. <laughs>